In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the gravitational field strength generated by the Earth. So first, let's draw a picture. So let's say this is the Earth. And the Earth generates its own gravitational field strength. Gravity causes, it's a force that brings matter together. So let's say if you have an object here, this object will experience a gravitational force by the Earth that will accelerate it towards the Earth. Now we want to calculate the gravitational force, I mean the gravitational field strength at the center. And first we need a formula. According to Newton's second law, the net force acting on an object is equal to the mass times the acceleration. When dealing with gravity, we need to use gravitational acceleration, which is g. Now, the gravitational force acting between two objects, let's say the Earth and the Moon, these two objects, they feel a force that pulls them together. That's equal to the gravitational constant g times the masses of the two objects divided by r squared, where r is the distance between, in this case, the center of the Earth and the center of the Moon. Now, we could cancel one of the m values in this equation. And this will give us g, gravitational acceleration, also known as the gravitational field strength. And that's equal to the gravitational constant times the mass of the object divided by r squared. So that's the formula that we're going to use in order to calculate the gravitational field strength generated by the Earth. Now, we need to use the radius of the Earth as the r value. So that's going to be the distance from the center to the surface of the Earth. And that's given to us at 6380 kilometers. Now, let's plug in what we know. g, the gravitational constant, that's 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11, and it's newtons times square meters over square kilograms. Now let's multiply that by the mass of the Earth, which is given to us as well. So that's 5.97 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. And then we're going to divide that by the radius of the Earth. Now this is in kilometers, but we need to convert that to meters. So we have 6380 kilometers. And one kilometer is equivalent to a thousand meters. So pretty much we've got to multiply it by a thousand. And that gives us 6,380,000 meters. So that's the radius of the Earth, approximately. Now, in scientific notation, that's going to be 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters. You simply need to move the decimal point six units to the left. Now, this is r squared, so you don't want to forget to square that value. Now, let's go ahead and plug this in. So the answer that I got in this example is 9.78, and the units we could cancel a kilogram, so there's one left over because this is squared. We could cancel square meters, so the units is going to be newtons per kilogram. Now this answer is, for the most part, fairly accurate, because we know that the gravitational acceleration on the Earth is 9.81 meters per second squared, and this rounds close to 9.8. Now, if we were to use more exact values, we would definitely get an answer close to this one. So that's how you can calculate the gravitational field strength generated at the Earth's surface. Now, let's move on to part B of this problem. 
How can we calculate the gravitational field strength 5,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface? So our R value is going to change. So this is still the radius of the Earth, but we want to find the gravitational field strength, let's say at this point, which we'll call point A. And that's 5,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. And the radius of the Earth is 63, 80 kilometers. So the R value that we need to plug in to this equation, it's going to be the sum of those two values. So 6380 plus 5,000, that's 11,380 kilometers. If we multiply that by 1,000, that's going to be 11,380,000 meters. And in scientific notation, if we move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven spaces to the left. This is going to be 1.138 times 10 to the 7 meters. So that's the only thing that's different in this problem, just the R value. So what you need to know is that as R increases, as you move away from the surface of the Earth, the gravitational field decreases. And notice that R is squared. If you double the distance, the gravitational field strength reduces by a factor of four. If R were to increase by a factor of three, the gravitational field strength would decrease by a factor of nine. It would be three squared. And so gravity, the gravitational field strength greatly weakens with increase in distance. So the further that you move away from the Earth, the weaker the force of gravity that the Earth will exert on you. Now let's plug in the numbers into this equation. So G is going to be the same. We don't need to put the units in because we know what the units for the final answer will be. The mass of the Earth is still going to be the same, 5.97 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. And now we're going to plug in our new R value. So it's 1.138 times 10 to the 7 meters. So you want to make sure that you convert kilometers to meters in order to get this question right. And second, don't forget to square this value. So the answer that I got in this problem is 3.07 meters per second squared. So as you can see, the gravitational field strength greatly weakens as you move away from a planet. Now let's use another example to illustrate this. So let's say we have planet X and at a distance from the center of X to some point A, let's say that distance is 5,000 kilometers. You know the gravitational field strength is, let's say, 40 newtons per kilogram. Given that information, what will be the gravitational field strength at point B if it's at 10,000 kilometers away from the center. Now in this case, we know the formula, but we really don't have to plug in any values. We don't even need to know the mass of the planet to get the answer. All we need to understand is the relationship between G and R squared, that G is inversely related to the square of the distance. So notice that the distance increased by a factor of two. It went from 5,000 to 10,000. So if R goes up by a factor of two, 
what's going to happen to the gravitational field strength? 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4. So it's going to be 4 times less. It's going to decrease by a factor of 4. So if we take 40 and divide it by 4, then we know that the gravitational field strength at point B will be 10 newtons per kilogram. And so that's how you can calculate the gravitational field strength at some distance if you don't know the mass of the planet. If you know the gravitational distance at point A, and you know how far you are from the center of the planet, then you could use that to calculate the gravitational field strength at point B.